Okay, so hi everyone. Just an update on the Ryzen UV uh, Live Link. So um, I decided to simplify and organize better the the menus and the way it works. Um, so now when you uh, will work, uh, so I decided also to use the uh, the, the default name uh, for the UV map uh, just for the explanation of the the kit how it works. But you will see that my uh, my ways to uh, use different kind of names with numbers uh, may, might be more useful if you are working for game content. But that's my own guess. Um, so. If you want to search for uh, the form editor and check all if it's correctly installed, you should filter and type R I Z O M, and you will find the, the Pi menu here in the export uh, folder. So exported um, config file. So just for the purpose, because. If you open the Pi menu and mouse over the the action or the subfolder, uh, you will not get any tooltip or description. Um, this is one thing I didn't like, but yeah, it's working this way. So, if you want and if you are uh, learning how to use it, you might change the Pi menu to a default uh, style and save this uh, in the in, save the form uh, in the pi menu uh, config file in the Ryzen live link uh, folder config folder and here okay you will save it here so um, if you show the, the, the menu now uh, okay that's different that's not a pi menu anymore but you have the tool tips and the information there to understand how to use the the kit uh, itself okay so you have all the different tooltips that explain how it works but in my case I will stay with the pie menu because I know how it works okay so now uh, let's go to the, the, the way it works so if you are working on only one mesh items you will use the one mesh item subform sub okay so you click here and then you have a one step method or the three steps method so just for explanation again again and again the three steps method diff, uh, uh, is taking three different actions so one is the set source that will add a selection set for this mesh okay and with this uh, here you can say okay I will export this so now I'm in the three steps method I will do go horizon but I also selected the texture here and the mesh item in the mesh uh, mesh item list in the item mode okay so be careful if you are in the polygon mode it will not work uh, and if you didn't select the texture here uh, it will not work also so go horizon then I save the file as a Ryzen UV point FPX and then I can say okay I will match the texture density axings I'll save control S control Q and then I have the data from Ryzen UV here okay so we have the cube here and now we can run the one mesh item uh, method three steps method and update and delete Ryzen UV data but this will work on, only on the texture here that is selected the default one so if you want if you, you are working with multiple UV sets you might not choose this one okay this one is for only one UV set in one mesh item okay so I will do this it will copy and uh, paste the data from Ryzen UV into the U texture UV uh, sets okay you see it's updated now so it left the group folder you can delete it so it works like this so I will go back and revert uh, to the scene so 
Now, uh, if you want to work on only one uh, action, uh, doing stuff uh, really quickly, you just have to select so the mesh itself, the UV map. You see, we have uh, the UVs here, and we are, we use one mesh items, one step method. So this one regroup the three different macros that, that we've used before. Okay. So it saved the FBX. Uh, then you do the work in Ryzen, use script if you want, save, quit. And now you see that the Ryzen UV group folder is still there, you can delete it. But now the sphere have automatically the updated uh, UVs. Okay? So this is for one mesh item work. Um, so I will. Uh, stop this video here and I'll probably do a second video especially for the multi multi meshes um, export and work okay so this we this will be much simpler for you okay see you bye bye